This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, uh, it's Wednesday today, which means we're doing a viewers question themed video. So before we get into it, uh, I'll just mention that if you have any questions at all of a guitar or music related nature, uh, get in touch with me. You can see the website address there at the top of the screen. The link is in the description. Use the contact form on that web page to get in touch with your question, or you can just email me direct jrguitartuition at gmail.com uh, or you can leave a, a comment below this or any of my other videos and who knows your question may just be featured in one of these videos now um, a little while ago I had an email from a chap called Klaus who was um, asking me about the secret to the thin Lizzie sound you might remember that video I did a little while ago if not I'll put a, a link to it down in the description uh, Klaus emailed me back uh, thanking me for doing that video and also in uh, his response he um, he said would I do a video on uh, what kind of difference different types of pick make to the tone I thought what a brilliant idea because it's one of those things that is often kind of stated you know a nylon pick sounds like this a plastic pick sounds like that whatever so I've assembled this little cast of characters for today's video. Uh, over there on the left hand side you can see my normal choice of pick, a Jim Dunlop uh, Jazz 3 nylon pick. Uh, then the same pick in uh, Tortex material. Then just a regular plastic pick uh, of the kind of thing that you get, you know, when you buy like a, a, a pack of assorted picks or one of those little kind of uh, tins of picks that you can buy on eBay. And that one's a bit more of a medium gauge. I do normally tend to prefer a heavy gauge pick uh, like the uh, Jazz 3. But that one's a bit of a medium gauge. And then I decided to go all kind of Brian May and use a coin. I couldn't find an old sixpence, uh, so I'm using a, a 20 pence uh, coin there. So what's coming up next is is a little bit of a piece of music where basically I'm going between uh, three, those four different types of picks. Uh, there's um, some kind of chunky riffing going on, or chunky riffing from in the perspective of it's me. Uh, don't expect, you know, kind of um, Avenged Sevenfold or anything like that. Um, so some riffing going on on the bass strings, um, some funky kind of strumming going on on the treble strings, and uh, there's some lead as well. And each of the uh, those parts is played with each four of those picks you'll see on screen what's going on so let's have a listen and see what difference the pick makes to the sound
And as always, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, um, and uh, jam track to play along with, and the clip of me playing it. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that, or any of the other ways, all of which are, you know where, linked down below. So... Did the pick make any difference? Well, not really. <laughs> in my, in, listening back to it, I would say, you know, it would be you, 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 perhaps, perhaps when you're using the coin um, on the lower strings, on the wound strings, there is a little tiny bit more bite and attack to the notes. But that's the kind of thing that's noticeable when you're playing. But when it gets into a mix, it's, you know, it's completely... Um, you know the difference disappears but that kind of brings me to to where I'm, my, my conclusions are with this um this uh, phil mcknight summed it up perfectly in one of his recent videos when he was describing something or other i can't remember what it was but the phrase that stuck in my mind that he used was some things are more noticeable to the chef than the patron and that's very much the case here i think um i could notice a difference in feel uh playing with the different types of picks um and you know, that's this is the one that the Jim Dunlop Jazz 3 is the one that I feel most comfortable playing with. So I tend to play with a little bit more enthusiasm and freedom. And just, I think I'm a little bit more fluent playing with one of these than I am with any of the others. And perhaps you would perceive that as being, um, you know, in some way affecting the tone. It's a little bit like, you know, string gauges. Uh, you have your favourite string gauge and you play more naturally on those or if you feel that the the, uh, the body of the guitar absolutely kind of resonating and ringing with every note that you play um you know does that affect the plugged in tone well yes it does in so much as it makes you play more enthusiastically which will affect the uh the the, the tone that comes out of the speakers uh, and i think you know the different types of pick um, is very much in that sort of ballpark you know the pick that you feel most comfortable with you will play better with and that you know has a knock-on effect to the tone but in terms of you know that this material gives this sound and that material gives that sound i couldn't notice any difference there in uh apart from that slight edge with the coin perhaps uh, but beyond that i couldn't notice any difference could you let me know in the comments below if you heard any massive difference between the uh, the different types of picks i'd be interested to know what your take on this is but that is pretty much the video for today folks hope you found it uh, entertaining and useful in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it Don't don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. A cracking way to kick off the weekend, I'm sure you'll agree, and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.